Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Marriage Man. Today we're continuing our series of understanding narcissism. Today I want to look at what are the typical stages someone goes through when they decide to get healthy and leave a narcissist. But before we jump into that, please like and subscribe to this video as it helps YouTube recognize that these are useful and will put them in front of more people. Now let's dive right in. The first stage that someone goes through when they're recovering from being with a narcissist is despair. Now the despair stage is one that I typically see people when they come into my practice. They are anxious. They're depressed. Sometimes they could be even suicidal. Why? Because being with a narcissist, they emotionally abuse you and they psychologically and mentally abuse you and it's very normal if you're in a relationship with a narcissist that it just drains the life out of you and it drains the fight out of you and a lot of times when somebody comes in they may know that this is happening they can sense that it's happening but they don't have any hope they don't feel that there's any way that they could possibly get out of this that's because the narcissist has wrapped you up so much that you don't feel like you could honestly go on with your life and so you have to stay in this relationship this is a very hard stage to get out of and if you are currently in this stage as useful as these videos are please get help from other people contact a local therapist or reach out to an online support group in fact I'm going to be putting a lot of support groups down in the comments so make sure that you scroll down there to check Finding help is really useful in this stage and it is critical to moving on. To the second stage, which is education. Education is probably where you might be while you're looking at these videos. You are starting to educate yourself on what is narcissism? What does it look like? What does a relationship with a narcissist look like compared to a normal relationship? Because normal relationships have issues. And you may think that you're in a normal relationship. But as you begin to understand and make sense of what's going on with narcissism and how it works, you're going to be able to start applying that to your own relationship, which leads to the third stage, which is understanding. This is where you start to have a lot of aha moments. You've taken in education, you've learned what narcissists do, now you're starting to see it play out in your relationship. Now you're starting to see that when your spouse is hot and then they're cold, and then hot again and they just kind of jerk you around or maybe when a family member tries to control you and manipulate you or make you feel guilty that these aren't normal things these are behaviors that narcissists do this stage is really useful because this stage is when you as an individual start to change now the narcissist isn't going to change they're going to keep doing what they've been doing trying to you know, just knock you around and emotionally and psychologically abuse you. But it's going to be less confusing for you because that's where that person who is in stage one is. They, they're confused. They, they, they don't think this is what life is supposed to be like, but they're not sure. Stage three, you know. This isn't normal. This isn't what is supposed to be going on. I'm in a relationship with somebody who is not healthy and they are doing this stuff to me on purpose. That's the biggest shift. Because a lot of times when you're in stage one or maybe even before you're in stage one, a lot of times narcissists have a wonderful quality for making you feel sorry for them. They may tell you, I'm sorry I do this. My ex-girlfriend left a lot of scars or I'm sorry I do this. My mom and my dad really messed me up. And that may be a true statement, but Hurt people hurt people. Yes, the narcissist probably was hurt at some point in their life, but they are actively choosing to continue hurting you because it gets them what they want. There's not regret, there's not sorrow. They may look like it, but true regret, true sorrow means that you change. But yet when the narcissist doesn't change and they continue to do this to you over and over and over again, it begins to change in your mind. You begin to recognize this is deliberate. They are abusing me. This is not okay. This is not normal. Those are wonderful statements that come out of 
that third stage. And the, really, you can only get to that certainty by going through stage two, which is education. Now, it isn't that everybody goes from stage one to stage two to stage three and then on. Each time you move through these stages, more than likely, you're going to go right back to stage one, despair. Because as you're beginning to realize that this man or this woman that you loved, that you let have influence in your life, you're starting to see the cracks in their facades show up and they're not a nice person, but yet your life is tied to them. That's going to cause despair. A lot of these revelations are going to be bittersweet. On the one hand, it's like, oh, yes, finally, I understand. But also it's like, shit, I've got a heck of a journey ahead of me. I'm in something that's not healthy. And so it's going to be bittersweet. What also begins to happen in stage three is your strength and your life starts coming back. Because as you begin to recognize what your partner or what your parent or whoever this narcissist is, is doing to you, you can start to avoid it, start to resist it. And as you begin to do that, it's going to not wear you down as much. So you're going to start feeling better. You're going to start feeling like your life is slowly getting better. Now, support is vital in this stage because you're starting to recognize that this needs to change. This needs to stop. And maybe it's you that has to stop it by leaving, by shutting down the relationship, whatever that may be. It's so useful to have people in your life, again, like a therapist, an online support group, maybe friends who get it. Because I'll be honest with you, not everybody gets narcissism. They really don't. And so choosing the right people is vital at this stage to getting into the next stage, which the next stage is setting boundaries. Now we talked about this at length in the previous video, so I'm not gonna go so much into it here. But setting boundaries is all about learning to tell that person no or stop or learning to reduce or eliminate their influence on your life. And if you want more information on that, feel free to check out my other video. Now, once you get through that boundary stage, that's gonna take you into stage five. Stage five is where you start to rebuild. And rebuilding is necessary because when you've been in a relationship with a narcissist, especially if it's maybe been since your childhood, or maybe it's been several years of marriage with a narcissist, you need to rebuild. You need to rebuild your sense of self. You need to rebuild your confidence. You may need to rebuild your support network. You may have to get new friends. You may have to get a new job. You may have to move, but it's going to be starting this wonderful chapter that doesn't include the narcissist. And that's bittersweet because this person was in your life and they honestly probably made a really big impact in your life because of how a narcissist works. There was both the, there was the negatives, absolutely there was the negatives, but ooh boy, was there the positives. And moving on past that, because a lot of times people who are moving on to a new chapter of their life, it's normal for all of us to look back at the old chapter with a bit of wistfulness. It's important to keep your focus on the next chapter and to move forward. It's a great chapter. And I hope that you will get there eventually if you're not there already. Again, don't get discouraged if there's setbacks along this road. Nobody gets there in one go. This may be something that you have to do a couple times to get there, but keep pushing, keep reaching for good support networks and you'll get there. I encourage you, if you're watching this video and you've gotten out of a relationship, leave a comment below just celebrating that fact and encouraging others. And please share this video with anyone that you think might benefit. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.